guys, today I am here and I'm doing another cooking video. And my poor, poor husband just had oral surgery, so I was looking for some soft foods that I could make him that he could actually eat. And so I decided to do this really, really super easy mash. And basically, it's just potatoes and cauliflower. And you can really do it with any kind of vegetable that's easy to mash. You could do it with squash, or you could do it with. Um, zucchinis or I don't know any vegetable carrots any vegetable that will cook down soft enough to mash so it's a really great um, type of food to make if you have to be on a soft food diet or if you just want a really delicious side dish that is also healthy because potatoes are fairly healthy on their own but it's always good to add some more veggies in there to get more minerals and vitamins and all of that good stuff so this is so easy the longest part of it is boiling the vegetables so anybody can do it it's perfect for you beginner home cooks so hopefully you like it and let's get started so to start with you want two medium to large potatoes and we're gonna skin them so it doesn't really matter but the big ones are better and then you're gonna want a full head of cauliflower and it's okay if there's a little bit of brown on it it's no big deal um, and then you're gonna need a half of a stick of butter oh Trevor get out of here and then you're going to need some milk I use low-fat milk and I always make sure to use organic milk also um, it's more nutritious and then you're gonna need some salt and pepper pretty easy that's all you're gonna need for this recipe so to start with you're going to cut your head of cauliflower so cauliflower is kind of tricky to cut first you're gonna to want to cut off that bottom stem and then you're gonna to want to peel off all of the little stem pieces and then you cut it in half and then it's a little bit easier to kind of cut that stem off and cut off any brown pieces that there might be um, so once you have the stem off you're gonna cut it in about half inch pieces and then cut it in smaller pieces from there and it's gonna kind of crumble a little bit as you're cutting it so don't worry about that little pieces are no big deal because you really do want this cauliflower to be super soft so you're gonna cut the whole head of cauliflower and then you're gonna bring a pot of water to boil put a little bit of salt in there and then you are going to add the cauliflower that you have just cut into that pot of boiling water and you're gonna to want to start the cauliflower boiling before the potatoes because the potatoes are gonna cook a lot faster so while the cauliflower is cooking you're gonna cut your potatoes so I just cut them in same about the same size pieces as the cauliflower but make sure your potatoes are all relatively the same size so that the little pieces don't cook down to a crazy mush and then they won't be as watery also when you start to mash them so cut up both full potatoes and then add them to that boiling water and then once you add them just give them a little bit of a stir to make sure nothing is sticking to the bottom of the pot and then just let them boil and it really depends on how much water and how many vegetables you have in there but boil them until they're nice and soft then you're going to add that half a stick of butter and then take a fork and just kind of mash the vegetables before you go in with the blender to kind of get those big chunks mashed. It also helps to kind of melt that butter. But this is about how soft you want them to be. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of milk. There's no specific measurement. Usually it's like a couple of tablespoons. You can add more if you want to. You don't need a ton of milk in this though because the cauliflower actually is really a watery vegetable. So the more milk that you add, the more watery your potatoes are going to be. So just give them a good mash until they are the texture that you find is right. And you can also add your salt and pepper now. I like to wait to add the salt and pepper until I start mashing them because that's when I'm tasting them. So it doesn't really matter if you add it before. Um, but just kind of add how, as much salt and pepper as you want. You don't have to use either or, but definitely add some more flavor. And then just give them a good mash until they are nice and creamy. They're not going to be creamy, creamy like normal potatoes with that cauliflower in there, but I kind of like them a little bit lumpy anyways because I like to taste the vegetables. So this is it. This is your cauliflower mash. You can eat them just like this. You can eat them with gravy. You can eat, it, eat them as a main dish or as a side dish, but they're super delicious. Hope you love them. And as always, thank you guys for watching.